Hi, my name is Christine Galanzo. I am the owner and operator of Amelia Paris Salon. I am here today to teach you how to apply your own hair color. As a professional, I do not recommend that you do this yourself. We all have roots right now. Like, look at my roots. We are all suffering in the same way. We all have roots. And if I go and I just put a single process all over my head, I normally enjoy highlights. So I'm just gonna turn my hair very warm and then I'm not gonna like it. So I'm gonna wait for my own personal um, self care of my hair until this whole quarantine is over. But I do understand that some of you are not waiting and there's a lot of mistakes being made. That being said, it is a chemical. Be very careful, be very mindful. Make sure that you are applying coconut oil to the hairline, around the ears, around the back of the neck before you start. Make sure that you're using a product that is chemically safe for you. There's a lot of products out there on the market. People are going into drugstores and they're just buying random things. So most of the time, if you call your hairdresser and you tell them the predic predicament that you're in, they'll probably mix up your formula for you. You really don't even need a lot. You don't have to worry about doing an entire touch up on yourself. Even if you just do what I call the triangle and thinking of the front coming back into a triangle. So the way the parting goes, that's really the only part that anyone's gonna see on you and perhaps your hairline. And if you wear your hair up, your hairline in the back. We're just gonna do a little bit. You do wanna be mindful of the chemicals. If you get color in your eye, you wanna flush it out very quickly. You can damage the eye. It is a chemical, it is serious. Um, I did get color in my hair one time. I did not wash it out thoroughly enough. And then when I woke up the next day, my eye was completely shut. So these are chemicals that we're using. Um, you do have to be mindful of that. And again, it's your own free will to do this. But I understand that some people can't wait. So I just wanna teach you how to do it and be safe about it. As you, as you start, you wanna do a gentle hair brushing. So you're just making sure that you don't have any tangles. You're not pushing the, the brush into the hair. You don't wanna roughen up the scalp. You wanna keep things nice and smooth. Just wanna get rid of any little tangles that would get in your way. So you take your color, you mix it up really well. I've already applied a protective barrier of um, some sort of an oil is nice. If you don't have coconut oil, you can use olive oil. Really want to clean your brush completely because if you have too much product on that brush, it's going to make your application really messy. And remember, you only really want to do exactly where your line of demarcation is. Now, she doesn't have a line, but you would be looking at her scalp and you're just applying it down that line. My pressure is gentle but firm because you do want to make sure that the color is getting all the way down to the root and you want to make sure that you have good saturation. Without good saturation, you won't get a true uh, coverage. So really work in the brush, getting that saturation. Again, I'm going, I'm following where the hair naturally parts and I'm just going to go back a little bit further than that. Good, so there's your first, it's just down the center, super easy. And you're gonna go from ear to ear. There's your section from ear to ear. And once you apply the single process on there, it'll hold the hair out of your way. You wanna move kind of quickly, not too fast where you're not saturating the color, but not too slow either. And I'm only going right to where I can see that line and I'm gonna take tiny sections. You can see how thin that is. Another small section. And again, this is the part that people are gonna see. This is the part that will make you feel better. It's not too much. It's not gonna take you too long to do. You don't wanna do hair color on freshly washed hair. Freshly washed hair, if you apply the chemicals on your scalp, can oftentimes give you a little bit of um, an irritation. So it's better to have a little bit of your natural oil on the scalp as a barrier. And she's going to be happy with just the front and top done. No one's going to see anything else. 
part is fairly easy because you can see what you're doing in the mirror. I don't recommend doing the back of the head because often that just causes a lot of overlap because you can't see what you're doing. Now, if you have a daughter, if you have, um, you know, my husband's applied my color in the past for me uh, when I had hurt my back. So maybe a loved one can watch this video and put it on for you. So there we go. We have the full top of her head where her part is and down the sides. And then we're gonna go to the other side. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna part all the way down from the top of the head to the ear. And then just apply your touch up there. Using products that are ammonia free, are much gentler on the scalp. Kevin Murphy products are PPD free and ammonia free. Just moving right along through it. If you do get some on the skin, you wanna wipe it off as soon as possible. Even though you have that barrier on there of that coconut oil or Vaseline or some other sort of oil protection, you still wanna wipe it off. You don't want it sitting on the skin. If I wore my hair up all the time and I had a lot of gray and I was worried about that, I would just take the whole bottom perimeter of the back and I drop that out and then I drop out the perimeter on the sides and I'd clip all this out of my way and I would only apply it to the part that you're gonna see when you pull your hair back. And this way, whether you pull it up or back, no one will see the white halo coming through on your head. And that's it. And she's gonna process for um, 45 minutes because she's a doll and she doesn't have a lot of heat. Um, but other than that, that's all you're gonna see. Now, if your color is really faded, um, her color is a little bit faded, you can take, again, making sure your brush is totally clean, and then just putting a little bit of color on your brush and just very softly painting a little bit of a line going down in a few areas. Don't, don't do too much. Just maybe a little bit here, a little bit there. And then it will refresh those tones in that area. So it's kind of like a balayage. So you're, you are painting on a tiny bit of your single process down but not very much. I really, if I do three pieces, that's a lot. And that'll just make it look like it's natural. Maybe I'll do, you know, one more piece here. Again, don't work with too much color on your brush. And then it's a side stroke. It's a, a soft, soft stroke. And it just goes down all the way to the ends. There you go, she feels, she feels better already. There you go, simple way for you to do your single process at home. Um, don't worry about the whole head. If, you're, if you are overlapping your color, you're just gonna make messes, you're gonna make these different lines of demarcation, and then when you go back to your hairdresser, it's much harder to fix. If you just focus on the areas that people are gonna see, it's fast, it's easy. Um, you'll be able to control your brush, you'll be able to see what you're doing, and no one else is gonna see underneath anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, just focus on what's gonna make you feel better, just so when you look in the mirror, you don't have that line there, and, um, and that's it. And we'll be open soon. Uh, this is our new location here, so we're just putting the finishing touches on that. And we cannot wait, we miss you so much, and we cannot wait to have you back in our new home and um, enjoy listening to all the stories and how you self-care during this time.